There we are. And we're live <laughs> for the second time. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, they are pulling the new card already. Welcome down to the Malt of Man Game. I'm Keith. And I'm Dave. Tonight we're going to be doing a little bit more of an informal live stream review or, um, of Ball Blair 2005. And then we just kind of want to check in with you guys. Um, I love that we were in black screen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. We haven't done StreamYard before. Yeah, uh, yeah, this so is the first time. We are celebrating the Buckeyes victory over Penn State. Yeah, I don't have much red. Which was very dangerous. We went to, like, was it 21 to 0? And some, it should have been 28 to 0. And somehow uh, we, we managed to screw that up. But we pulled it out in the end. Yeah. So go, Buckeyes. Um, so let me just check in and see who's in the in the stream. Woo! Just us. <laughs> and how it's a party. <laughs> but, well, without further ado, let's get into it. All right. You got your cup? What are you and Hallie and the kids do tonight? So we went out for a Mexican. A festive, a Mexican, a festivus, yeah, a festivus, and I ate way too much Mexican and drank too much That's margaritas, and so I actually just got up from a nap about thirty minutes ago. A Mexican food nap. What kind of Mexican food did you have? I always get the beef enchiladas. Ooh, so good. And obviously, lots of we get we chips, but we get the you do the con queso, yeah, yeah, the white yeah, queso, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so good. Yeah. So I feel really fat, and I'm ready for, for some alcohol, for some bed. <laughs> Although, are we still going to try it? I don't know. There's a pretty big fight on tonight. Wilder and Ortiz. Who do you want to win? Wilder. Yeah? Yeah. I just want to see a knockout. Yeah. Yeah. I actually haven't watched the heavyweight. I haven't event. either. I've been, in a while. I haven't either. And, like, the last – when Wilder fought Fury, I guess it was just, like – Fury got knocked down and got back up, which was like impossible to get up against Wilder hitting you. Yeah. And so it was a really good match. And so, and then or the first Ortiz Wilder, it was, it was good. So I think the last heavyweight UFC main event I watched was Brock Lesnar when he got his butt kicked by who was right. like, who was the last main event, like the championship, and he just got annihilated. It was, uh, uh was, was it Randy Couture or Randy. like Ken? It was like somebody old, right? Oh, was it something like it was a Latino? Right? Ken, I think, was it someone with like a Latino type? I don't know. In the chat, if you know who it is, let us know. Yeah. yeah. All right. So tonight we're going to be reviewing Bob Blair, two thousand five. Um, unfortunately, as many of you know, Bob Blair used to be somewhat of a under the radar kind of hidden gem that a lot of people like whiskey geeks knew about, yeah. and it was so good. Fortunately, that is no longer the case. They have been found, and the prices are starting to go up, and you can't find them as much. So if you can find this, pick it up. Pick it up quickly before the prices become astronomical. Um, we did. We bought, I think we've done Ball Blair 1990, and I think I did Ball Blair 1999 with um, the Scotch Test Dummies on their channel. And is not the only Ball Blair we've done. I think so. Yeah. Um, so Ball Blair is a Highland distillery um known for doing a lot of sherry bombs but they also have these more like the 2000 and up vintages a lot of them are like more mostly bourbon matured, which i believe this one is for the most part mostly bourbon matured so without further ado let's get into it please <clears throat> i want to leave a little bit for mike was there any other big uh big games today michigan i think handled their business with uh Indiana, right? That's always nice. Did uh, Minnesota win? I don't know. I think, they, I think they were winning when I checked last. We kind of need them to – well, we need Wisconsin or Minnesota to kind of win out so that we can stop them in the Big Ten Championship and look good. Although, if we went out, we're going to the championship. Yeah, we're going to the playoff. I mean, why, why are we two? <laughs> yeah, I know. Because LSU – you know, they played Texas when they thought they were going to get out. Though. I think they lost like five games now, so it's it's not quite as good a game as, or as it looked originally. But they did beat Alabama. But if we beat 
Penn State, and we beat Michigan, and then we stomp Wisconsin or Minnesota, I think we should be one. But I doubt it with the politics and, you know, the way they they view the SEC, which is shenanigans and ridiculous. How did uh, how did this morning go? So, that, so in Columbus, college game day, ESPN came to Columbus – but that's not – ESPN didn't have the game. Fox had the game, and they did, like, a big thing. And did you see Urban Meyer tweeted out? He's like, come to our side or whatever the for, Fox, for the, for the That was kind of – I've never seen that before where, like, Fox and them. Yeah, like, and, and game day. It was weird because ESPN game day kind of took, like, a backseat, I felt like. Oh, yeah, definitely. I feel like more people yeah. – especially – well, I think Big Ten people up north yeah. were like, we're done with, like, ESPN. That's and exactly what – SEC bias – no, if, nonsense. If you went to like the uh, like all the tweets and uh, from game day saying like the comment, mm-hmm. it's all just Ohio State people saying stay home. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> all right, well, let's get in some whiskey. Bob Blair, 05. What do you get on the nose? Woo. Woo. Uh, so <clears throat> that soapy, waxy note is is strong for me. Kind of like 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 you get with Klein Leach. Yeah, yeah. I can go there with you. Immediately, immediately. It's just so much orchard fruits. Yeah. Floral, like real strong. In fact, when I first opened up this bottle, the or not the orchard fruits. I'm sorry. The floral notes were almost too much for me. This was the apple blossoms, and it wasn't quite as pleasant. Although as the bottle has gone down, it's become a lot more pleasant. And I'm sorry. Vanilla frosting, some kind of like sugary white chocolate, you know, butter buttercream frosting. Mm. That is delicious. What else you got? Peaches, pears, apples, like apple pie, maybe even like a little bit of like cinnamon, <clears throat> nutmeg. Have you ever had a Apple pie, um, moonshine. Uh, yeah, like a, it, it's not like real moonshine. It's like no, this is real moonshine. This is real moonshine. So there's a guy. I was like flavored, like <laughs> when I was in the Coast Guard, we had a, a real big hillbilly who obviously made he, it in the toilet. Yeah, he had his own shenanigans, his own operations, and uh, <laughs> he brought it to one of our, our parties that we had before we were getting deployed. And so. You, know, you take a shot. No, I'm sorry. First, you put like cinnamon, sugar, and like nutmeg or cinnamon, sugar, something. And you, and you lick it. You take the shot, and then someone immediately sprays like whipped cream in your mouth. And yeah. it's so good. Yeah. Like, dangerously good. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's yeah. Kind of ugly it's got sugar. like 140 proof. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was a rough night. Yeah. Um. So I smell that like just like apple pie, apple pie moonshine. Yeah. You get anything else on the nose? That's a good way to describe it, an apple pie moonshine. What kind of, like, floral do you think it is? I just said it, it smelled like like blossoms in a, like, in spring is what it reminds me of. Maybe even like honeysuckle, too. Yeah. We got some people joining in. Um, Kevin Maiazzo, welcome, buddy. Malti Alti said he loved this whiskey in Scotland, and he's... He's going to be missing the vintages. Yeah, they're going away from the vintages. I don't know why they're doing it. It was something that kind of made them special. Wow. Popularity, right? I know, but you would think that if that made them special, they would keep it. Well, but they can go off the name for forever. So <laughs> I don't know what they're doing up there, and everybody knows the prices are going up. So I'm kind of sad. I still love Bob Blair. But I'm a little worried about where they're headed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Don Holland is in. What's up, Don? He says, love the ball player 2002, one of my faves. That was a good one. Jay Chung is in the house, one of our benefactors. What's up, Jay? What's up, Jay? On the road and can't stay, but we'll definitely catch on the replay. Thank you, my friend. Thanks, man. Um, ooh. Malti Alti says, I remember pouring this over oysters on the Isle of Skye. Now, that is a memory right there. That sounds amazing. Do you like oysters? Oh, oysters? I love. I love. I never. I thought it was disgusting. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. Yeah. Oysters were one of those things that they used to be, like what, what the poor people ate. I know. Like it was, it was above a certain level of society, and then they were like, "Oh, 
these are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny how things swing? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Glenn Mormji, uh, what is it? It's the one that's Saturn's Nectar Door. Nectar Door. Have you ever had that? No. So, it's um, matured in Saturn's. Tell me castle. about it. So, Saturn's, after I can geek out for yeah, a Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the way it started back in the day, one of the crops went in France, in a certain region of France, the crops went bad. And it like so short shri shriveled up yeah. or whatever, and so they're like, "Oh, these crops went bad." So they like, "Oh, let's give it to like the peasants. <laughs> we'll, we'll throw them a bone and we'll give them the rotten grapes so they can make wine with it." But some whatever, it's called patritis or yeah. noble rot, and yeah. it makes it like super sweet. So like when it kind of goes bad a little bit, yeah. some about that process yeah. makes it even more sweeter. Yeah. And so it creates this like amazing sweet um, white wine. Um, and something about this reminds, reminds me of that too, actually. All right. It's very dry. Kevin Maialto was saying, is there anything better than apple pie? This is coming from the Canadian. Oh, no, man. man. Good apple pie. Mm. What is your favorite apple? What is your favorite pie? Is it apple pie? Probably apple pie. Um, I also like, uh, I like a good key lime pie. Mm -hmm. I like uh, cheesecake too. I don't know if that's a pie. <laughs> I think, pie shape. I think strawberry rhubarb pie is my favorite. Ooh. Have you ever had strawberry rhubarb? Pie? I have. I'm not. A big, I'm not the biggest rhubarb fan. It's a vegetable. <laughs> Shouldn't be in a pie. Malton in Montreal is trolling us. He says you're going to be too hungover for church, fellas. <laughs> I'll be hungover praying for you, man. <laughs> Malty Alti says cherry pie is his favorite. And oh, Travis Fairclass in the house. Cherry pie. <laughs> What's up, Travis? All right, you want to go in for the palate? Cheers. That was weak. What's up with these glasses? Mm. So it's still that soapy, waxy, but I like it because it, it like holds it on you. While wow, all the flavor and it is those peaches mm. and apples and pears um, with some vanilla and uh, uh, the floral, like you were talking about. Um, it's almost too much. Yeah. Floral. You think so? No, it's not. Yeah, it's but, right on that cusp between yeah. the, if it was any more floral, it would be too much floral for me. <laughs> it's very green. Very green. Yeah, it's like. Right banana in my mouth. I was gonna say there's something like bitter, yeah, ish in there, and it's like yeah. ripe, it's like un green. under ripe banana, yeah. green banana, green banana. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Mm. So, peaches, pears, apple juice, under ripe bananas, floral, honeysuckle. Then there's that sweetness that kind of makes it makes it work, like it's buttercream frosting. Oh yeah, vanilla. All the good stuff stays too. I can't wait to talk about the finish. <laughs> if, if we didn't say this is um, obviously 46% ABV and Ball Blair does things the right way, um, at least for now. <laughs> They're not chill filtering. They don't add, add color. Yeah, obviously it's not color. Anything else I want to say about this? I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're going to take it to a. Pale yellow, <laughs> <laughs> almost like urine. <laughs> almost like like a guy that's had a vitamin that day. <laughs> so, it, Malti Alti says, "Banana in the mouth sounds filthy." That's <laughs> how we roll down. Wow. Down here, no, no, we don't. Things get weird. All right, what do you get on the on the finish? Uh, so that banana, that banana, definitely that. Green banana, um, the vanilla, the soapy, waxy, just coats your tongue. Um, the ABV doesn't feel um, apparent. It's just very smooth. Um, I think your favorite ABV is 46% ABV. Yeah, yeah, that's like my wheelhouse. Now you feel like it is? Yeah, probably that too. I don't know. I like some of the uh, cast strength. Urbans. If I go back and I notice though, like the 46, especially with scotches, 
I have a delicate palate. Anything over that, now, I think. Now, 40%, I feel like you don't enjoy. 43 and 40, I feel like it's not strong enough for you. I feel like 46 is your wheelhouse. Yeah. Well, this is my wheelhouse. It's fantastic. It, it uh, is bourbon matured. <clears throat> but uh, you are right about that floral almost being too much because it's almost all you get from it. But, but uh, you yeah. know, I wonder if adding a little water to it would uh, take some of those floral notes down or open them up more. Let's try. You got any more? You got yeah. Yeah. a little splash. I got perfect um, sneak peek talking about Dave like and bourbon mature. Um, after we finish reviewing this and giving it a mark and talking about it a little bit, obviously we're going to check in with you guys a little bit because we haven't done a live show in forever. Um, we're going to ask you guys kind of maybe in the future kind of what some bottles you want us to review. And then after that, we're going to put Dave through a, a little bit of a, a bourbon line test. It's going to be bad. So stick around for that. <clears throat> I want some wagering in the comments on uh, how much I miss. Should we do the blindfold again? Oh, the, <laughs> only if I can peek out the bottom again. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go back way, way back into the ar archives where we have our wives. Long day in the sun. <laughs> we have our wives tie blindfolds on us and do a blind. My tasting test. It's pretty interesting. I think you guys will enjoy it. Plus, our wives are way better looking than we are. It's, it's got like the most views out of any of our videos. I know. I, I The most views are always the wives or you with a guest or you by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> something tells me. <laughs> something tells me this is not this is not your ticket. Take it out of the cave. <laughs> oh, you God. you hitched your wagon to the wrong. <laughs> hey. This cart's not going nowhere. We, we do this for fun. Oh man, I'm glad you did it with me, buddy. Me too, man. Me too. Uh, Donner passed whiskeys in the house. He says, "What's up, Keith and Dave?" I don't see anybody else new checking in. Jason Fisk, old bottling or new? Oh, there he's talking to Kevin Loud. So let's see what they're all talking about. I don't want to go back too far. Oh, Travis is drinking his Ben Rennie's 13-year-old Adelphi Sherry Bomb. Oh, you would love that. It's it's Bring like, it to me now. You would hate it. <laughs> Give me that. We just reviewed um, the Glendronic single cast 1995 19-year-old Oloroso. Needless to say, it may not be one of Dave's highest marks. No, it was it was good. It was it was uh, it was good. I think the water did kind of take away the floral a little bit. What do you think? Oh, 100%. Kind of brought up the sweetness a little bit, maybe a little bit more of the vanilla and the frosting notes. Yeah. That's exactly what it smells like. It's like uh, buttered or uh, like a cream cheese, buttered cream frosting. Oh, there you go, Kevin or Dave. <laughs> Guys, so I just woke up from a nap, so I am not on my best tonight. Kevin Mahatsa says, Dave, don't sell yourself short. You're hilarious. Thanks, Hallie. Sometimes. <laughs> Hallie's got a burner account. <laughs> Dave will come in here sometimes, and it's like, he's like the funniest. I'm like, dude, you rocked it. And then other times, it's like, but no. <laughs> Dave means a little hey, happy. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't understand my humor. We're just not intelligent enough. Yeah, you just, you, just, yeah you just need to up your, up your game. All right. So, did you say whether you thought the the finish was long or short? Um, I think it's a medium finish, um, medium long. Uh, that soapy waxy feeling stays for me, which I like. And uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if adding water really sells it. If I would do that again, um, because I think it takes a little bit away from some of the. Uh, edgier like you said it's something about going up to the edge but not going over the edge that 46 percent yeah yeah it's nice in bob blair's defense you did not have that much left so i know i think maybe it was a little too much water i would add more but i want to save this for mike. no save it for mike for mike's whiskey reviews it's already not that much of a generous no. that we're leaving him sorry mike if you're watching <clears throat> Guarantee it, Keith Frank said before. <laughs> oh, it's it's too little. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'll get you on the next bottle. It's Mike. been done before. All right. 
So the finish for me is medium. Okay. It's not short. Yeah. It's not super long. It's medium. So it's a nice middle of the road, healthy, good scotch. You know, again, like the water that we added, it did kind of take some of the floral away. So I actually enjoy it even a little bit better with a touch of water. You get all the underripe bananas, tad bit of floral, but not as intense as before. Buttercream frosting, apples, pears, apple pie, a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg. Pretty good stuff. Yeah. Malted Man Cave Mark. What so are you gonna give this? I really enjoyed it. Um I think I I think I enjoyed the uh the other bow butter that we had as well. Yeah. Um I think that was right was that right around the same proof? No, no, um, was yes, that? no it was forty six percent. Yeah, 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 that's what I was thinking. Um I'm gonna give this a uh an eighty eight. Eighty eight? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 not my first reach, um, but I'm glad that, that you poured it for me, and I would definitely recommend this for anybody. Um, it's it's broad enough that most everyone will probably enjoy it, um, but there's parts of it, like Keith said, that take you up to the edge of something of a profile, and, and it's, it's nice. Yeah. How about you, man? So, again, I would definitely recommend this to anybody. 87 out of 100 for me. Um, I would always have this on the bar. I like it. Obviously, I like the Ball Blair 1990. Yeah. It's got a little bit more sherry influence and then the Ball Blair 1999. Um, but this is good. I, I definitely am glad I bought it, and it was worth every penny that I paid for it. So, 87 out of 100 for me. So, if you guys haven't tried this, go out and get it. Um, yeah. Uh, Travis just asked what, what – my favorite bourbon is. Do you want to pass it over? Well, so far it's your small batch. Now, I poured this, the Colonel E. H. Taylor single barrel for you. Yeah, yeah, love do you, that. Do you remember the small batch enough to know whether which one you prefer? I, I probably, probably the small batch, right? Well, the single barrel is kind of supposed to be a notch above. Yeah. But I think me and you kind of agreed the small batch was like surprisingly good for like the lower end of you. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, we'd have to have an upside to sign, I think, is what we can say. Yeah. So E.H. Taylor, either the small batch or the single barrel. Yeah. That's, even over the Elijah Craig barrel proof. Well, that's that's the other one that I was going to have you. Um, but then, yeah, the Cavalon, bring that back. You did like that. Oh, that was so good. It doesn't make sense because it's like hardcore like wine. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, man. You, you don't get to choose. Make no sense. You don't rule over me. All right, so Donner Pass Whis Whiskey says, the best part of these guys is after the review when they talk about what's going on in the world. Cheers. I think we've also lost some subscribers because we talk about what's going on in the world. Sometimes we get a little bit too edgy with what we talk about, and we're trying to tone it down a little bit. But at the end of the day, we're having fun, entertaining ourselves, so. Hopefully the people enjoy it. Malted Man so Cave, you. number one malted show. <laughs> Taiwan, number one. Malted in Montreal, number two. <laughs> All right, let's check in to see what I'm just you kidding. <laughs> you are number one, Swami. All right, let's see. Let's go back. Let's see what everybody's saying in the chat. All right. Talking about the Ben Renes. The Cavalon Vino Barique, did, they did recently got a high score. Yeah. That was really good, Jason. Um, let's see. What's going on in the Banana Republic of Trumpistane? <laughs> We're not going there, Malta to Montreal. We're not going there, Swami. Hey, things are good. Our dollar is strong. The economy's doing pretty good. We won't get into anything else. The one glass man is in the house. What's up, man? Thanks for joining. Dan E. is in the house and Whiskey Music. Let's see anybody else? Whiskey yeah. Scout Robert, who has an awesome channel. If you guys haven't subscribed to him, please go check out Robert. He's a generous guy. He sent us some stuff, and he even sent me a, a Glen Cairn with uh, his logo on it. Once. So he's a he's a gentleman and a scholar. He lives out there near uh, the Scotch Test Oh, that's he's awesome. He's friends with him. He hangs out with him sometimes. All right, so who? who? Scotch Test I'm just kidding. Who are those guys? Who are they? <laughs> um. All right. Where do we want to go with this next, Dave? Ah, uh, man, let's pour something else. Pour something else? All right, let me down the hatch on that. Uh, I know there was like, it was just me, my mom, and Keith on the stream earlier, 
and I had asked, we had said something about the uh, heavyweight fight tonight. Is anybody, does anybody care about boxing anymore? Is that like a, what, box? Is it, is it, is it a dead, dead sport? Well, and boxing, so they screwed themselves over. When they went to the HBO, like, pay-per-view, I know. that's what made it. I, I feel right. like it's been like that since the 80s, though. But I think that's when it started going down, yeah. don't you think? yeah. There's yeah. many times that I would have loved to watch it, but when I was younger, I don't have the money to pay for that. No. Yeah. So I think single-handedly, that's the biggest reason it's not as big as it used to be. And now they have UFC, which is boxing, but better. Yeah, yeah. That's what uh, that's what Swami just said, that <clears throat> he prefers UFC. Peter, I think UFC is just the – it's – it's quicker. It's it, it's more like com- more complex. It's everything that our like primate brains like oh like violence quick violence yeah. fast. But is it is now at one point this was true. I don't know. At one point, you know, people had died in boxing. But one of the oh, things, it's way healthier. One of the things you. about UFC was yeah. that no one had died yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure Besides someone probably like, has now. But yeah, wasn't yeah. that one thing they said is that, that they stop it so quickly? It's the repeated, but it's also the repeated punches uh, over and over. Traumatic brain injuries. Yeah, and whereas and you're. Like, it's yeah, boom, yeah. you're done, and they stop it before they can, like, annihilate you in UFC. Body shots or head shots are what's going to take you out in boxing, whereas you can get somebody in an arm bar or something like that and not even do anything to the head. Yep. But then you can do stuff to the head. Did you see uh, – what's his name? The 10-second the knockout. Um, did you see the one where the, the dude did a flip? He literally went like this and rolled forward – and on the way, he like literally his heel, his, his heel went down and knocked the dude out. I'm telling you, look it up. He literally did a flip, and the back of his heel came down and like knocked the dude out. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. I don't know who it was. I was just watching on the ESPN or something. Do, one day. do you remember after school, before basketball yeah. practice, when we would all go over and box in that yard? Yes. And we would be so tired Dude, after boxing is so exhausting. Jeez. You don't realize how much energy it takes until you do it. Jeez. Peter White's in the house making waves. Boxing he says, hey, is Keith, dead. Still <laughs> hanging in. Um, and he said, boxing is dead. <laughs> and then he said, UFC blows. I don't know, buddy. I can't go with, your, with you on that. Boys, when the big four fought each other in the 80s, there was nothing like it. I agree, Peter. Like, Obviously, we we were born in 83. Were you yeah, born in 83? 83. So we were not alive during the heyday of boxing, but watching it, my dad loved boxing, and obviously I love sports, so I've gone back. And it looked like it was amazing. This plus, watching, like, plus, we had Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield. So that so we, we had the tail end yeah. of when boxing was pretty awesome. But yeah. they screwed themselves with the you know, HBO pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. Um, there's one more thing I wanted to say. <clears throat> Roy Jones, Jones Jr. Yeah, he loves the steroids. <laughs> Dude, he's still box. He's still fighting in Russia, I think. Of course he is, because Do you he's elongated that? his career with all the performance uh, enhancing drugs that he's taking. What was taking. that? What was that? Uh, fight night? Is that the Xbox game back in the day when we were in college? Oh yeah, Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fight night. Yeah, that was awesome. All right, so moving on to the next phase of the live stream tonight. And again, I apologize, guys. So this is my first time doing the stream yard. And Dave just randomly like texted me today. He's like, first he wanted to, hey, families together. <laughs> Let's get the families together for the house thing. I was like, dude, I first just got all, up. I was three hours off on the game. I, I thought it started at three. And so I'm like, making, <laughs> I'm I'm making like, plans. I, it would take me an hour to clean the house up. And I don't feel like going to your house. So I had to say no to that. And then like three hours later, he's like, live stream tonight and watch, watching the fight, UFC fight. I was like, all right, we can do the second one. So I did not know how to put um, the notifications to where it sends it to everybody like 30 minutes or an hour before the official start. So it was a little bit slower getting to our viewership as usual. So, but we got a we got a decent amount of people in now. So thank you guys for joining. Thank you so much. All right, next things I wanted to ask you guys that are in the house what you would like to see us review next. We have the Glendronic 1995 single cast 19 year old Oloroso coming up next. Not sure if I'm going to release that tomorrow now that we did this. Um, and then I think we're going to do the Long Row 14 Sherry after that. Excuse me. But after that, I want to know, would you guys rather see us review the Balvini 17 Doublewood? Next, would you rather see us review the Glen Scotia Double Cask? 
Would you rather see us review the Glen Scotia 15 next? Right here in Dermody Bourbons. Would you rather see us review E.H. Taylor single barrel? There we are. So if you would, leave us in the comments. Um, whoever, whichever one gets the most amounts of yeses. <laughs> we will, Kevin Mayotte says yes to yes. all the above. All of them together. And we will. <laughs> but which ones would you like us to do next? Blend them. <laughs> Dude. I'm so sad that this is all right. So I've given quite a few samples out. Yeah, I was going to say, what have you been doing down here? There was one night. Mainline in it? There was one night I had some fun with the colonel. With the colonel. You and the colonel. Me and the colonel. Got had, real personal. We had, we had an evening. You thought about things. <laughs> Talked it over. All right. So question of the night. So we're going to do a question of the night, and then we're going to put Dave through the, the bourbon blind tasting. Oh, uh, this is going to be a massacre. <laughs> so excited. Everything's going to be my favorite. <laughs> You're going to regret asking to do a live stream. <laughs> um, all right, so question of the night. Since we are here celebrating Ohio State's victory over Penn State, and obviously we're pumped about college football, um, who should win the Heisman? Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I think because of some certain politics and different things, um, which is always the case with everything, we have, in my opinion, three – Players on the Ohio State team that should be considered for the Heisman. Justin two of them are number two. <laughs> yeah, J.K. Dobbins and obviously Chase Young. So yeah. I will open it up to you, and then I'll yeah. tell you what I think. So Wait, guys, leave in the in the comments what who you think should win the Heisman. So, so uh, quarterback wise, Swami says, "What's college football?" And what's in Ohio? <laughs> do we still let Canada be a country? So Canada, why do why do we let Canada? Canada, has, Canada they has have like so a, many resources up there. That I don't know why we just don't. You know, come on, I guys. think Ohio we has assimilate a, them a into bigger America. population than all of Canada <laughs> combined. My family is from Canada. My dad's not from Canada. So all you Canadians out there, my family's not from Canada. I'm allowed. Confirm. I'm allowed to make fun of Canada. Okay, I have my Canadian Canada uh, card. Yeah, I just know that you have. My a, grandpa says A and everything. You you just elected a guy that, that dresses up in blackface multiple times. <laughs> That's all I know. That's all I know about Canada. Oh my gosh! That's all, know. Yeah, you know? multiple times. He just can't get enough of it. Oh, let's not get into politics. Because I just <laughs> so I, China, I, I, I sense myself like wanting to go there, but I can't. Hey, it is basketball season now, Travis. I am That's so true. excited and about he, basketball. He's a Tar Heel fan. Oh, nice. So I told him. Yeah. Uh, growing up, I was. You guys would have been best buds, baby blue. Baby yeah. blue for life. I'm I'm now officially Ohio State first and North Carolina second. That's all right. Although I'm thinking about switching back to the Tar Heels number one. Although Ohio State's doing pretty good this year. Yeah. It's been a rough eight years since Ohio State's been good. But anyways, sorry, let me interrupt you. Yeah. Who do you think should win the Heisman? So what do we have? We have three quarterbacks up at the top. Um <laughs> we've got Burroughs, uh, Hertz, and Fields. And uh, two, two is gone. <laughs> two is no longer in that mm, conversation. I know. Poor guy. So, uh, but still, that's 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 who we had. And out of those three, um, Burroughs is a great um, a great story and a great um, kind of uh, prototypical quarterback. I just think as a um, it takes a lot to, when you have the number one defense in the nation and you stand out as an offensive player, which mm -hmm. just which Fields does, um, I think we should give it to him. Um, now, I think Chase Young has done more. Um, look at the sacks today. Um, we also, like, one thing they're not talking about, Justin Fields only played the first half. I know. <laughs> For, and then like, the whole season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the fact that he had, like, 30, 41 total touchdowns yeah. and only one interception playing only first halves, like, that's not fair that they're not talking about that. So, anyways, I'm going to take Fields. Fields? Yeah. How about you? So, obviously, as a Buckeye, I would love to see a Buckeye get it. But there's a little part of me that does respect and does really like Joe Burrows. Obviously, he's an Ohio kid. He started out at Ohio State. And what was it? Two years ago, it was between him and Dwayne Haskins, and they battled it out, battled it out. It was Urban Meyer, and everybody said it was so close. But they finally decided to go to, with Dwayne Haskins, and that's when Burrows transferred to LSU. So, but with everything I was told, Urban Meyer was still like really good friends with the Burrow family. They, you know, they didn't make it hard for him to transfer. They're like, you know, we wish you well. We hope you do well. 
So everything is on the up and up. So I would like to see him do well as an Ohio boy. Um, I think he deserves it. Um, and I think he probably will get it. I will say this. I think the Heisman is supposed to be the most outstanding, the best player in college football. And that's not what it is right now. Now it's pretty much only the best quarterback. So and Chase Young. Chase Young, in my opinion, is the most dominant college football player. He's not going to win it because of the whole, you know, missing two games and the whole um, penalty that he got for. We still. How much money did he take? We still haven't heard about that. Have you noticed that the? I don't think that the amount that he borrowed for his girlfriend to take a plane ride was ever released. Have mm-hmm. you noticed that? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Shh. Sweep it. Sweep it. <laughs> Don't bring any more attention to it. All right, so so I'm going Chase Young. No, oh, you're going Chase Young. That's who I think should win. It. Think should win it, but you think I think, and, is and gonna, I will still be happy. Your money would be, and I still would be. Happy I'd be happy with any of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <clears throat> fields. All right, let's see what the the, the all right. We're done. We're done talking about college football. <laughs> Kevin Mathis says actually it's brown face. <laughs> 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 Uh, Swami said he banged a stripper in Vegas, so he gets to make jokes about America. Seems fair. Seems fair. She was probably from Canada, dude. Peter White, buddy, LSU will crush Ohio State. You know what? <laughs> I like, hey, I want to just see the game, though. I'm excited for the game. Funny story about that. My brother-in-law, is a, he's, in the Air, he's a pilot in the Air Force. And in 2007, after Ohio State played LSU and we got beat by LSU in the national championship game, my sister and he were stationed in Italy, and I just happened to go there to visit two weeks after the championship game. Oh, wow. And this dude had the entire guest bedroom, LSU sheets, LSU clock, LSU posters, LSU, like, blinds, like, everything LSU. So I'm ready. I am ready to play LSU again, and he is coming to visit, and it's going to be payback. And so normally I want to be so confident. This is the first year – I've actually, like, not been, like, scared. Like, you know, like, oh, I think we're good, but I'm not sure. This year, I'm like, no, we're legit. Yeah. Like, you could tell, even against Penn State, like, we were way we were way more talented. We just literally shot ourselves in the foot. It sure. should have been up 28 to 0 until we shot ourselves in the foot by fumbling it, for like, three times in a row. Fields, my boy. All right. Um, anything else in the chat? I'm a Notre Dame fan at heart. Oh, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Speaking of Notre Dame. How good was the Fox coverage today? Better than uh, – Way better than ESPN. Having uh, – and it's so nostalgic having Brady Quinn and uh, – Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush. Meyer. And Liner on there. Yeah. yeah. Matt Liner. What a party here. <laughs> All right. You ready for this challenge, buddy? Bring it on! All right. How am I going to do this? All right. Can you put water in your glass? I already did. Will you engage the chat? Yeah. All right, don't look. I'm not looking. Penn State is overrated. Um, Penn State is – Penn State's one of those teams that, yeah, they might be overrated, but they always play <clears throat> way above their pay grade. I remember <clears throat> I remember the game, like, do you remember, like, four years ago? It was uh, just a field goal fest. Not four years ago, maybe longer than that. Yes. Yeah. Penn State's tough. They, they, they always play as tough. Yeah. Even if they don't have quite as many horses, yeah. maybe they always play. As so tough. I agree, they're they're probably <clears throat> overrated, but they always play us hard. Peter White, no love for the Buckeyes, no love tonight. All right, so these are the ones that we're going to be reviewing, Dave. Or right. not reviewing. These are the ones we're going to be blind sampling, test them. Eagle Rare, Eagle Rare Ten. For now, it's Eagle Rare Ten. We are going to be doing very old Barton. If you guys haven't had this, it is really stinking good for a four. I got got this for fourteen dollars, and it is delicious. Pretty sure, yeah, it's bottled in bond, fifty percent ABV, stinking fantastic. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof for you geeks out there. It's batch A one one nine. ABV is sixty seven point six percent ABV. Little hint there. And last but not least, the Colonel. But Colonel E. H. Taylor single barrel. What's it? Bottled and bonded. So you have had you have had all four of these, okay? Oh yeah. So there's no at excuses. Least once. At least there's once. No excuses. At least once I've had them. Yep. At least once. <laughs> that one I haven't had. 
All right, so I would like you to turn that way and close right. your eyes because I'm going right. to show everybody what we're pouring first. Do not – I would – so I have like PTSD when we were kids and we'd play Madden. Oh, you've told this story before. We'd play, we'd play, <laughs> we'd play Madden, and Dave would always look at my play. I'd look over and he'd be like looking down at my controller. So if you're not cheating, you're not trying. All right, turn, turn I'm, away. I'm turned. I'm turned. I'm turned. We're gonna be doing this one first. All right. Sweet. Missouri Sweet. Old Barton. Don't look. There's no mirrors back there, is there? Back of my head. How's the back of my hair look? Don't be looking. Don't be looking. Don't looking man. Keep covering. This, this guy would, would swindle his own daughter to win. Here. Why does it always go back to swindle your own son? Hmm. Blow up Dave's palette. <laughs> no! Guys, no! I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I no! didn't see anything. I swear. I swear. Travis. I swear on the solid. comments. Don't give it so, away. I think this is the. Uh, All right, we got it. I got to take off the chat for a second because they're going to give it away. I promise you, I haven't seen it. All right. Oh yes, you did. I did. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. I did. I did. Stop saying it in the Stop. comments. Stop. <laughs> Don't look. I'm not looking. Don't look. What are we? How do we? How do I get rid of this? All right. <laughs> All right, we got to start over. Give it back. Dude, what is that one? No, no, no. I swear. Oh, dude, I swear I didn't no, see no. it. No, no. Oh, my goodness. Dang All right, I'll so everybody stop. So I, what Please. I thought that one smelled like. Please don't say don't say anything about the All ABV right. or, or about what it is in the comments because Dave totally saw it. I didn't see it. He is so, he right. so intense. We need another glass. Where is the other glass? Right there? Yeah. All right. Make Sorry, it guys. a little quicker. <laughs> I feel like I'm like in trouble. You've been naughty, Dave. All right, don't look. I'm not looking. What we're doing? All right, Brunzi. All right, I'm gonna hurry it up. You get. All right. How much? How much time do I get? Take as much time as you want. All right. I think this is the very old Bartons. Final answer? Final answer. That's the Eagle Rare 10. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Take a couple steps. Yeah, man. <sighs> Eagle Rare 10. So good. I was drinking it the other night. There is so much like maraschino cherries in Eagle Air 10. I wouldn't know. I've only had it once. I don't think that's true. I think mean, you've had it more than once. No, what threw me off was color. I was trying to look for a lighter color because I know Barton's is lighter. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty light. I bet it's Barton's. All right. I shouldn't have poured as much. All right. We do have church tomorrow. So that's uh, 0 for 1 now. Yeah, we're going to be drunk for church. We're 0 for 1. My, my picks are going to gradually get better chances, though. Whew. That's true. So 0 for 1. All right. Turn away, naughty boy. Turn, turn away. <clears throat> so to get a passing grade, I need to go 3 for 3. You are what? I'm not looking. Are you serious right now? I'm not looking, dude. <clears throat> okay, so this is what are my choices? This is uh <laughs> It doesn't. It does not smell like. Uh... <laughs> I love it. Uh, so I'm going to say that this is. I don't 
don't know if you're trying to throw me for a loop. E.H. Taylor. Or not E.H. Yeah, yeah, the, the Colonel. The Colonel. <laughs> is it the Colonel? Yes! No. It, it no. Is a, it's Blanton's. <laughs> no. or, or it's uh, very old. Very old Barton. It's Barton's. Very oh. old Barton. $13 yeah. whiskey. Ah. Love it's, it. It's delicious. I'm serious. This is an amazing whiskey. It's delicious. Ooh. So much like peanut butter, yeah. like Snickers on that. You ain't more? Yeah. Go ahead and be taking this work and I'll take this work. Stephen Connor's in the house. What's up, buddy? Thanks for joining. Yeah, whiskey music said we need a table. Close your eyes, Dave. Yeah. This was a real last minute live stream, so this is not going to be the best. <laughs> Malted in Montreal. Swami. He said my, my voice went to a dog whistle pitch there. Sorry, man. Sorry for your delicate ears. All right. Last two. Actually, so you're really a, it's really going to be the last one. Yeah. What to do? All right, you done? No, no. I want all my chances. <laughs> Dude, you never claim to be like a, a blind tasting aficionado. So. All I have to say is that. Isn't that so good? It's good for, for put 18, water in that? Yeah, for eighteen dollars. So good. I'll close my my eyes this time. He wants to cheat so bad. You guys have no idea. All right, Dave. You mean I want to win? <laughs> Obviously not. We look away one last time, my friend. <sighs> All right, Brunzy. Last one. So I have my I I, I have a 50-50 chance. So it's, it's I have the Colonel or I have Elijah uh, Craig. Elijah Craig. I'll be looking over here. Oh, I know what this Dave's is. Dave's like looking I know at, what it is. He probably knows where the bottom is. I know what are. it is right away because it is a familiar sense to me and it is one of my favorites. Um, this is what I was intending when I said hold up my favorite bourbon. Um, because of the, the, the range of bourbons is my favorite as far as all their uh, all their bottles. This baby right here is Elijah Craig. Yep, you got it. You got <laughs> it. Yes. I got one. I got one. Yes. Yeah, man. It's a, so it's a very distinct uh, profile. All right, so I'm going to drink a little bit of the Eagle Rare, and we can kind of just check in with the chat, and then we're going to probably shut it down in about five, ten minutes. What? One out of four. We got it, Dave. One out of four. No, one out of three. <laughs> so technically, you would have got two out of four because you would have got the last one. <laughs> Process of elimination. All right, guys. Um, let's see. Jesus will be more disappointed than the time you found your Playboys. Yep. Yep, Swabby. See, Swami, we believe in an omniscient God, which oh, uh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> we're not talking. We're not wait, talking religion today. We didn't find the Playboys. He already knew about. It. He knew about the intent of the Playboys. The pre, and, and guess the what? The predestination of he the had already forgiven. The predestination of he the had Playboy. already forgiven the acts before it happens. Yes. Santa Cruz is in the house. Santa, Santa to hey, Santa. Santa and I just became Instagram friends. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so thank you guys as always for watching. Please like, subscribe if you guys aren't already. I assume probably most of you guys in here probably already are subbed. Um, or you're just in here trolling us, Swami. Just kidding. Love you, Swami. If you guys are not already subscribed to Malta de Montreal, please go check him out. Great guy. Um, uh, debatable. <laughs> we love you, Swami. <laughs> Anything else we want to say about Ballplayer 05? No. I don't know anything about whiskey. <laughs> He's the moot. <laughs> Just for the record, we kind of had this whole kind of me kind of being into whiskey for a while and Dave being the moot before the whiskey ball started doing their stuff. 
just right. for the I'm record. the original Mooch. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you guys for joining. Hope you guys have a good night. And as always, Scotch is King. Uh, bourbon that you know is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks for joining. That was enough.